The 2023 budget speech has been presented by our finance minister, Mr. Enoch Godongwana, this being his second budget presentation. Once again, he has presented this budget in what is an extremely difficult financial environment. Just to focus on the tax highlights of the budget, it has been forecasted that SARS's tax collections for the 2023 fiscal year will actually exceed the 2022 budget estimates by about 93 billion rand, meaning that there will be no new major tax proposals in this budget. Looking at how these tax collections will be spent, the topical item of the moment is the dire position of ESCOM and our electricity supply. It has been proposed to put in place a significant debt relief arrangement for ESCOM to the tune of 254 billion rand. Staying on the energy topic, tax incentives are being proposed for both businesses and individuals on renewable energy projects and rooftop solar installations but there will be some strict conditions to be met to qualify for the tax benefits. Turning on to personal taxes, there will be an inflation-based adjustment to the standard tax tables, with the top marginal tax rates remaining unchanged. The tax exemptions that apply for the taxation of lump sums in accordance with the lump sum tax tables will see a welcome increase of 10%. For transfer duties, there will also be an increase of 10% in the tax tables. There are, of course, the standard increases in the SIN taxes, but some welcome relief with the indication that there will be no increases in the fuel levy and the road accident fund levy. Other than these highlights, all other tax aspects remain relatively fixed. However, please do keep an eye out for our upcoming article where we will drill down into these and other tax proposals at some further length.